Sorry guys, if, if you remember last time, we worked on the wild loop in which we said while this is true, in our case, we want to display this, and when we, when we ran this, I would say when it's been cool, I said yes, every time I say, and every time I say yes, the number changes because the first variable is increased by 5, second is increased by 7, and the result is the addition of the two new variables. Alright, so don't pick no. Okay, thanks for playing. So today, we're going to be working on something new. It's going to be called the switch, the switch statement or loop, I'm not sure. Let's just call it the switch. Uh, switch. Is that how you spell it? Switch. Oh, it's called switch. Switch. I think I said it like 10 times. Swish. What this means is that the user will input a number from 1 to how many, and this will go through each one and say if the user inputted this, display this. If not, go to the next one, see if the user input that, and then do that, and so on and so forth. So let's do that. We're going to do um, so. We are going to be asking asking if what channel which if you, you turn on TV, what channel would you like to watch? So let's start. We will do. We will do. Int. Int. Channel. Don't give anything. Now let's start. Count. You have just turned on the TV. What channel would you like to watch? And I, you can't see you can't see out of the screen, but I'm just typing. The and L, then semicolon, then enter. That's it. So now we're going to type sin, and I'm going to enter for channel. Now we're going to start the switch statement. So let's type switch. And now with this, you will have to see, you have to type in which, which variable you want to check through, or scan through to see what the person input it. So, it's, so we always scan channel and just close that off. You don't put anything like channel less than 3 or 2 or whatever. You don't do that. You just type in the variable. That's it. So now you press enter, open bracket, and enter. Now the switch is special. What you have to do is that you have to put case. Case would mean that, that this is what the person typed in. So let's do case 1 semicolon so so the person enter case uh, the person entered one we would type you have turned on the news how boring are you then end up And then with case, and then with the switches, you have to use a special, special, special word called break, which means that that okay, you have finished this, and you you have known you no longer need to go through with the rest of the cases. So once if, if the person entered one, display this, and just break off and stop. So that, that's what break does. Now let's do case two. Same thing. Count. Um, you have turned on the. Um, what do you call it? Cartoons. I don't know.
let's just do that. I don't even know. Endo. Break. Remember, break means that you're stopping right there. And you don't, you don't longer need to go through. Break. Now, when you're done with all of your cases, in this case I only put three, once you're done with all of them, you can close it off with the ending, some ending brackets. But before you do that, you what if you want, actually let's just do that. So let's just file, save as, Switch statement dot cpp save. Let's compile and run. And we get no errors. Yeah, turn on you yeah, just turn on the TV. What would you like to watch? Actually, let me put a little question mark there. So, I type in 1. 1. And you're pretty much boring. Again, same with 2. And as with 3. But now you're thinking, what if I... What if I test test something like nine hundred and fifty six eight? Nothing happens. But you wanna you wanna do something to the person that you have entered an invalid number. So what you would do is that you would type something called default. Seven co I mean colon enter. Oh by the way these these after the numbers are colons in case you were wondering. In case I forgot to say, but they're called this. So you press enter, and now you want to say, you want you want to say something to alert the person that they it's an invalid number. So let's do count. There are only three channels. My God, this. The company is cheap. And now, set so save, compile and run again. So, since we didn't know what 1, 2, and 3 are going to do, I'm not going to do it. So let's just do a number that's not 1, 2, or 3. Let's do 4, 5, 6, blah, 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 whatever. There are only three channels. My god, this company is cheap. So, that is just, that's just a switch statement. Now, let's review. Because the switch really means that we're switching through each one. Oh, wait. For default, you don't need a break because because it's the last one. You don't need a break because it's the last one, like last resort. Because there is nothing you can do about it. Only the cases need breaks. So a switch, so a switch is switching through each of the cases, and if if that one or this one has been entered, then it will do this. Or if none of them has been entered. And it's a wrong one, then it will be a default showing that what what will be displayed with the default. So that's it for this. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. All right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you can help me.
Alright, stay tuned for my next video.